Whenever we go to a gastro restaurant, mm -hmm. there's a mm -hmm. cat like mm -hmm. face robot. Yes, so uh, the unit is over 3,000. 3,000, wow. Yeah. The robot, we, uh, at least we can see two very obviously mm. uh, changed uh, for, for the people working in the restaurants. First is uh, to reduce the distance, distance. they're working. The mm -hmm. secondary is to uh, reduce the re repeating works. But yeah. now they have the mm -hmm. robot, mm -hmm. they can concentrate on more important mm -hmm. jobs. So for, for example, the, the service staff in the restaurants or cleaning staff in the hotels, that the young people is no longer want to work for this position. We are aiming to solve this challenge about the labor shortage. Mm. はい、皆さん、こんにちは。ピボットの竹下です。話題のテック新商品、新サービスをクイックにお届けする番組、ピボットテックトレンド、始まります。この番組はソフトバンクの提供でお送りします。えー、今日はですね、あの、よくガスト、あの、ファミレスのガストに行くと、最近、猫型配膳ロボット見ると思うんですけど、それを作ってる会社の方に、中国の深圳から来てもらって、話を聞いていきたいと思います。えー、プードゥロボティックスという会社の、えー、トニー・ゼンさんに話を�聞きます。So, Tony Zen, welcome to Pivot. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, so it's your yeah. first time in Japan? No, I actually yeah. have been、uh, traveling to Japan、mm -hmm. uh, like、uh, three or four times per year, and every time is about、uh, more than one month.、Uh -huh. Yeah. So you, today you came from China? Yes, I came from China. But、uh, actually, we have a subsidiary in Japan.、Mm -hmm. So I'm,、uh, generally, I'm in business traveling between China and Japan. Okay.、Yeah. So your company, Pudu Robots,、mm -hmm. um, it Completely changed the、uh, mm -hmm. landscape of Japanese、mm -hmm. restaurants.、Mm -hmm. For instance,、uh, Skylark,、mm -hmm. there's a、yeah. uh, restaurant called Gasto.、Mm -hmm. Whenever we go to a Gasto、mm -hmm. restaurant, there's a、mm -hmm. cat like、mm -hmm. face robot.、Yes. Why did you make that robot a cat like face?、Uh, I think there are some reasons that we choose cat as the design of this robot. Okay, let's, let's look at the video. Firstly, actually, for,、uh, for our company, we、uh, want to be a robot designer, something like.、Uh, Brings warmth and human friendly design to the、uh, users. And secondary,、uh, the cat is kind of、uh, widely loved and, and、uh, well known to people. Yes. And third is for、uh, something like、uh, there are many、uh, cartoon characters、mm -hmm. like Doraemon. Doraemon, yes. Yeah, like, like Hello Kitty, which is very popular in Japan and in other countries, the rest of the world. And、uh, The third thing is that our industrial designers they have the pets of uh, uh, of cat, cat as the pet, and the finally uh, we uh, really、uh, were conceived to choose the cat as the design of this robot.、Mm, I、yeah. think that's a very smart decision because、yeah. when we go to a restaurant、yes. and if we see、mm -hmm. a robot,、mm -hmm. it feels very familiar to us because it's a yes. cat. Yes, and、mm -hmm. it seems like a friend of、mm -hmm. ours. Yes,、mm -hmm. and、uh, this robot.、Uh, Generally, it's working for the、uh, business like the restaurants,、mm. supermarkets. And in, in this place, there are many,、uh, like the family members, like other people or、uh, the kids, they love this design very much.、Mm. Yeah. Okay, so today we'll talk about three points.、Mm -hmm. Number one is tech,、mm -hmm. uh, the te technology、sure. behind the cat like robot.、Mm -hmm. And number two, trend,、mm -hmm. the trend of robot,、mm -hmm. robots in the world.、Mm -hmm. And finally, we'll talk about the future、mm -hmm. of robots. Yeah. So, first of all,、mm -hmm. I want to talk about this robot. 3000 in Skydark Group, your robots are implemented in the restaurant? Yes, I think、uh, currently the Bella Bot is working for most of the restu restaurants on the Skylark,、uh, where the place is suitable for the robot working. Yeah, so、uh, the unit is over 3000. 3000, wow.、Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was surprised that before they got the robots,、mm -hmm. uh, an average person, the staff member,、mm -hmm. had to walk,、mm -hmm. they had to take 1000 steps,、mm -hmm. you know,、mm -hmm. going, taking orders,、mm -hmm. uh, cleaning the dishes,、yes. uh, each、mm -hmm. two or three hours.、Mm -hmm. But that reduced by into 42%、mm -hmm. when they、uh, had the robot. So、mm -hmm. that kind of changed.、Mm -hmm. The work atmosphere.、Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sure. I, I think for the robot, they,、uh, at least we can see two very、uh, ob 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 obviously、mm. uh, changed uh, for, for the people working in the, in the restaurants. First is、uh, to reduce the distance, distance. they're working. The、mm -hmm. secondary is to、uh, reduce the re repeating works, for example, to take the、uh, food from、mm -hmm. the 
kitchen to the table. dining table. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's really improved the working condition for these uh, employees in the mm. restaurant. I was surprised yeah. that you had two or three hours and they had uh -huh. 10 hundred steps. So they had yes. to walk around uh -huh. all the floor taking orders. But yeah. now they have the mm -hmm. robots. Mm -hmm. They can concentrate on more important jobs. Mm -hmm. And also the cost because mm -hmm. um, I did some math and mm -hmm. surprised me mm -hmm. that the robots, mm -hmm. they cost about less <laughs> than 200 yen per mm -hmm. hour, which mm -hmm. is very mm -hmm. you know, cheap labor. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I think compare the cost. Uh, uh, Cost is only uh, one factor to take mm. into consideration when the uh, business owner to consider to decide to take in a robot working in their uh, restaurants. I think the more important thing is that currently the this country, I mean, for maybe for many countries who is facing the aged people population, I mean, the population uh, situation currently is a challenge. Yes, that we are facing the labor shortage. So, for for example, the the service staff in the restaurants or cleaning staff in the hotels, this kind of uh, job that the young people is no longer want to work for this position. Uh, even the country have to open the working visa to other developing countries. Mm. But this is gonna be some sensitive problem, yes. especially for the politics. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think we are. Uh, aiming to solve this challenge about the labor shortage. Mm. Are you guys going to replace humans? Mm. No, we never take the job from humans. Okay. We ju just want to save, help the people to solve the problem that uh, this job is no longer attractive to young people. Mm. So you see the cleaning staff in the uh, resort or hotels, they are the aging people like over 70 years old, they're still working for the cleaning. Right. I, I think the kind of uh, social problem, yes, the problem for the society. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. How about the business impact of the restaurants? Once they mm -hmm. have their robots, mm -hmm. does that give good positive impact in of their business? Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of the first is to improve atmosphere. Mm. Yeah, for the clients. Yes. The for the ladies for the kids for the adult people the film that is interesting is more attractive to uh we, we have some data that's uh like gasto because, oh. because it's, it, it is kind of family restaurant yes so definitely they have an uh, increase of the sales after they have adopted the uh robots i see yeah because uh, the people uh is more likely to uh to, to have dinner there. Mm. Yeah. The secondary to is to improve the sex satisfactory of the employee. So the people uh, would like to uh, work in this enterprise. Yeah. I see. So maybe the kids would like to yeah. go to Gusto to yeah. you know meet with the cat like yes. these robots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they even try to ha have some interaction uh, uh, between the robots and humans. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about the second part of the mm -hmm. question, the trend. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think there's a huge trend that people are more and more wanting to adapt robots, not only in restaurants, but in hospitals? And how's the trend of the mm -hmm. robots industry? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think if we talk about the, the trends in Japan, mm -hmm. actually, it will indeed, uh, the, pop, the robots is becoming more and more popular. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think there are four three reasons. Mm -hmm. The first is like uh, Japan is a well developed uh, and a wealthy uh, economy. Yes. So they, uh, the robot for them is very affordable, I mean, mm. yeah, you, you, when you compare the labor cost. Mm. And second is, uh, I think, uh, it, because of the aging population. Yes. Yeah, this is our chance. <clears throat> we don't change the chance, but we provide solution. Ah. Yeah. Mm. And the third is, uh, I think the Japanese society has a very higher education and acceptance mm -hmm. for the high tech, High technology yes. solutions. Mm -hmm. I think this is uh, we have similar situation. What is happening for other countries like European countries, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, even for Korea, you know, Korea has the biggest problem about the uh, population declining these yes. years. And even uh, for C Canada and United States and Australia, New Zealand, these developed countries are facing the similar uh, challenges, and we want to provide solutions. Mm. So for under uh, following this chains. I think uh, the robots is uh, is a very good solution, and uh, is the the, the popularization of the robots 
uh, we see a uh, uh, rapidly uh, increase this year. How about in China? Uh, I think China is a uh, kind of um, how to say the labor cost in China is not that high mm. as other countries. But Chinese people is always a big fans of new technology. Yes. <laughs> so you can see a lot of innovative. Right. Innovative products mm -hmm. and the solutions uh, uh, this year generated from China and uh, uh, become popular to other countries. Mm. Uh, robots is kind of very typical phenomenon. Yeah, this year. So uh, Chinese people embrace the new technology like robots, but uh, the popularization uh, in different industry is various because. For example, if a factory, especially for e-cars, adopted robots. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, widely. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah, but for uh, maybe for restaurants, we still need some time to waiting because uh, uh, currently the Chinese uh, restaurant business, the labor is not that shortage mm -hmm. yeah, com compared with other industries. So the uh, popularization of the robots in different industry will vary from countries and regions and, 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 and the business culture. I see. So having that said, do you think in your point, mm -hmm. uh, Japan is a mm -hmm. good market because mm -hmm. we are an aging society, mm -hmm. labor shortage, mm -hmm. we have, uh, we like robots. Yes. So do you think mm -hmm. there's a big opportunity in Japan for your company? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, indeed, uh, currently Japan is the number one overseas market, overseas market for Pudu. Oh, yeah. it's number one. Number one. Mm. Yeah, uh, we have uh, in entered into Japanese market about uh, three years ago. Yes. So. Uh, to help ourselves to, uh, how to say, uh, emerge into the local community. Mm. So we created a subsidiary, I mean, the daughter company in, in Tokyo, mm. and we uh, provide, uh, uh, I mean, em uh, employment for Japanese society, and we build up the after service uh, system uh, by connected with the uh, big players like Sharp, uh, like other co uh, companies to build up our ecosystem in locally. Globalization is kind of localization. Ah, that's a yeah. good word. Yeah, yes. we want to adapt ourselves into the local society. I see. Yeah. So you guys have, uh, so the Skyduck group has 3,000 mm -hmm. of your robots. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is a success or do you think there's more room for, um, there's a more bigger market in Japan? Mm -hmm. I think uh, Skyduck is, is just a successful case. Mm. We are lucky because they are, how to say for robots is still a new business. Yes. What is the lucky thing is that we find some early adopter for the industry. Mm. That's very important because they are influencer. They can spread their opinions to show that how this gonna help us uh, for in this industry. Yes. So from scale up, we are expanding uh, our users. Mm. Yeah, develop our users from uh, other kinds of, uh, I see. different kinds of mm -hmm. restaurants. Mm -hmm. So what was your biggest challenge when you were introducing Bellabot? This robot was launched during the spring of, uh, in spring of 2020. Ah. That was the beginning of the COVID. Yes. Uh -huh. So because of the, uh, the COVID restrictions, so people have to work from home yes. to collaborate with each other. That's mm -hmm. a big challenge for us because we are the hardware uh, innovative company. Yes. So people need to work together mm -hmm. in the past days. Or but people need to go to restaurants. Yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. But now we have to work remotely mm. to collaborate with each other for R&D process. That's a big challenge. I see. And the second is for the supply chains oh. because we have more than 100 suppliers for the spare parts. Mm. So how to organize them working together to provide uh, uh, the necessary spare parts uh, for the assembly, the final assembly of the robots is mm. a big challenge. The third, the third is about logistics mm. because many countries and customs are blocked, shut down. So it's very hard for us to make sure the robots finish the design and send the samples to other countries to test under the local restaurants to get feedback how to improve the products uh, according to their uh, suggest. Mm. That's a big challenge for us. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so finally, let's talk about the future. And mm -hmm. I have a video of your mm -hmm. uh, Pudu, and you have you guys have different types of robots. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about how the future mm -hmm. of robotics mm -hmm. will be. So there's you mm -hmm. know there's a cat mm -hmm. like robot, and you mm -hmm. guys have mm -hmm. different robots mm -hmm. in maybe hospitals mm -hmm. or yeah. Mm -hmm. What what will be the future of mm -hmm. robots will be like? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I think we are in the in segment mm -hmm. of service robots. Mm -hmm. So uh, the 
design or the function is based on the real needs、mm. of current,、uh, I mean, our clients. Yes. So actually, we create the robot, but finally, the 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 details of the function or, or application will be、uh, depends on the clients' needs.、Mm. Uh, currently, currently, the technology. Developed very quickly, as you can see that there are some new technology、mm -hmm. about、uh, something like ChatGPT、yes. or humanoid、mm -hmm. the robots. So the technology is changing and developing very quickly.、Uh, our policy is that we will closely monitoring the the technology development、mm. and、uh, listen to the clients very carefully、uh, and help them to realize the functions they want. So it is it is very hard to. Predict、mm -hmm. what will happen in five years or even three years because、yes. the technology changes so quickly.、Mm -hmm. But our principle is to listen to the clients,、uh. the voice, and and and,、uh, and pay、uh, very big attention to the R and D and technology、mm. and、uh, forge the 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 necessary、uh, technology to meet the demands of the, our clients.、Mm. Yeah. So Tony, you mentioned ChatGPT. Are、yeah. you guys using generative AI in your robots?、Uh, because basically, we are a hardware company,、mm -hmm. so we will, we will make sure. First step is to make sure our hardware is suitable for this kind of technology.、Mm. But we we will follow the the rules and policies in different countries. Yeah, especially for some restrictions, we will follow that policy in different、mm -hmm. countries. First, make sure the the hardware is available.、Mm -hmm. The second is we we. Pay uh, uh, attention and resources, and、uh, and take resources to develop this kind of technology and how to adapt to the robot by ourselves. So Tony,、mm. we talked about、uh, robots in restaurants.、Mm -hmm. uh, are you guys interested in other segments or other、mm -hmm. fields of interest?、Mm -hmm. Yes,、uh, indeed. Actually, for the past、uh, like、uh, six or seven years,、mm. uh, six years,、uh, we focused on the. De de delivery robot. Yes.、Mm -hmm. uh, about two years ago, we started the research and the development of cleaning robots.、Mm. After two years of the development, our cleaning robot is already、uh, successful in some segments like the hotels,、uh, shopping malls,、mm. hospitals, aged care centers. So currently, something like we started from the delivery, but now we have. Both delivery robots and cleaning robots.、Uh -huh. In future, we are we are trying to develop some or explore some new applications、uh, like industrial warehousing and logistics. So to make sure we have enough products per,、uh, portfolio and to meet the demands of different industries to address their challenges of the. Labor shortage.、Mm. Yeah. So there's three segments. One is、uh, delivery, which is in restaurants. Yes.、Uh, cleaning,、mm -hmm. and maybe the third. Yeah. You... Third、uh, is our is ongoing project. Okay. But uh, uh, but I I think soon we will disclose more details about the new products and new applications.、Mm. Yeah. Looking forward. Yeah. Okay. Um. So Tony,、mm. um, what do you think the future of robots will be? What will happen to human labor and?、Mm. What will happen to the relationship between human beings and robots?、Mm -hmm. I know it's difficult to predict, but yeah, it's 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 very hard to、mm. predict. But I think the purpose of the robots is to design for people、mm. and working for people. I see. So we will never、uh, consider that to design a robot, but take place of the human、ah. being, but work for them. So humans always in the center. Yes. Okay. Human is always the center,、mm -hmm. but maybe the robot shape. I mean. Not, not always be gonna be a human shape.、Mm. Maybe other shapes, but working for different conditions, scenarios, and、uh, to address different challenges of the human society.、Mm. Yeah. Okay, Tony. Thanks okay. for joining、okay. our show. I、okay. really okay. enjoyed、thank、the conversation. Very honored. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.